All right, welcome back to Empire of the Sun. Okay, the last time we met or got together, we had this combat here in Singapore, and I moved this uh, Japanese half army to uh, Banka here in uh, Sumatra. Okay, he of course cannot intercept because it's not a battle hex, and he cannot declare it as a battle hex because there's no way he's going on it. So there was a combat here earlier, and uh, he resolved it, and unfortunately, we were not successful. Uh, we were not successful. We activated all army, by the way. Uh, we activated army, army, army because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, ISR interservice rivalry was into in the previous card. So I rolled. Unfortunately, when I rolled a Singapore attack, it was a ground uh, the ground combat. I rolled a two. Which you can see there's a half result, uh, half result here, 18, it's only 9 hits, and this takes 12 to die. So unfortunately, we were not able to successfully take Singapore in the first assault. This is very annoying. And this is where you can see, or I can tell you, this is where the uh, ISR really reared its ugly head. Why? Because if the if I hadn't been under ISR, I could I could have mobilized, say, this carrier Ryujo. It would come over here to attack Singapore instead of using this air fleet. What happens is this thing will give me a plus uh, four with a minus plus four minus two uh, for attacking the uh, mixed hex. So that's going to be a plus two uh, diral modifier. And if you look at the uh, combat results table, with a plus two, the only way you can screw up the uh, the combat is if you roll a zero. And I rolled a two, so that would have been enough to knock out. Singapore in this in this turn if it had to be the case But it is what it is. We weren't able to knock it out. So unfortunately, it really is a pain in the butt to have to take care of but um, It's, it's going to take another card unfortunately for us to knock him out All right, so at this point I'm thinking oh by the way, it's his turn allied turn and the allies player allied player my opponent uh, Played his one and only pass for this turn and so yet it's the Japanese turn and right now, our card count is uh, rather lopsided in favor of the Allies. The Allies have five cards, Japanese only have four cards left, and I'm playing the next card. So essentially, he's two cards ahead. Um, remember, he had the pass, and he had this draw strategy card a couple of times. So he's actually two cards ahead, I think, which is very annoying, but what are you going to do? All right, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, all right, this guy, he's played, he didn't react to the um, combat here in Rangoon. He didn't, um, he still hasn't done anything, really. He hasn't mobilized any of his Siak forces. So I'm thinking he's playing a waiting game. He's got a, probably what he has in his hand, and I'm going to bet it's probably up here, and it's FO, because it's FO. This FO he's keeping up here, I'll bet, is some kind of intelligence card, much like mine, what I'm keeping here. Here it says, intelligence interceptor on strategy card. He probably is keeping a, uh, a card like that, similar card like that here in his, um, in his, um, as a, uh, in his FO, or he's keeping some kind of intelligence card in his, in his deck, um, so he can react to anything that I do here. Uh, so what I've done, um, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and played, because of that, I've decided, all right, I had a, a couple of choices. I thought maybe I would play this card for a while. I thought about that for a while. And I wanted to play that card and think about moving my naval forces from the Indian Ocean and shift them to the, to the east to, to, to be able to um, react or, 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 or counteract the, the Allied fleets here in the Pacific. Okay, I might still do that eventually. Thought about doing that. Um, then I realized, um, you know, if he's got if he's got a reaction card, then um, it doesn't really matter what I play at this point. Um, so I decided, uh, if, you know, I wanted to I wanted to save this card um, and possibly launch an attack in Rangoon by surprise. Remember, I had thought that maybe I can do that. Uh, I can do that without. Uh, when I do the back to back thing I showed you earlier, when I can play the uh, Gandhi card 
this Gandhi card here. This Gandhi card here. Play it for the event. If he mobilizes, therefore I can cancel his activation. And then move. Then since his activation is canceled, I go again and I, this time I take out Rangoon. That's what I'm thinking of. I thought about doing that. But right now, if he's got, if he's got, uh, he's not playing any reaction. He's not doing any reactions here, which makes me think. He's thinking of reacting to this. He's probably going to bring in. He can react with this army. He can react with this army. So he figures, all right, well, I'll just bring those guys in, and then he can react with, you know, fleets and you know, air, air fleets and naval fleets. And so I figured, oh well, um, doesn't really matter at this point, I guess. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and play this card and activate. Oh, what did I activate? I think I activated the. Yeah, I activated the uh, South HQ. I activated the South HQ, and then it's a three plus one, so I can activate four guys. I went ahead and activated these two guys, one and two. And then I activated this guy, three, and I activated this guy, four, okay? So my thinking is attack, 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 attack here, and take these three taxes out, okay? That'll cause Philippines to fall, cause Malaya to fall, and it'll finally cause the DEI to fall in one shot. Then I've saved um, these other cards I've got this card maybe to play later. I've, I've still got this card to play. And if all else fails, I can still play this card for points. But I'm hoping that I can use it for the event so I can draw a strategy card. Don't know that will still work, but hopefully it will. But I don't know. This guy is, you know, my opponent. You know, Benoit is a really good player. Very skilled. And he knows to play the waiting game. And uh, my hat's, uh, hat's off to him. He knows what he's doing. He wants to draw out my cards, see what I have before doing anything. He's, you know, he's a, good, he's a good player. So I have lots of respect for him. So hopefully this will work. And uh, we should be able to take all three of these. Because if you look, um, if you look at the, uh, if you look at the uh, card, uh, the final die roll modifier for the Japanese any ground battle is plus four. So if there's a plus four, that's a plus four, that's a plus four. And a plus four, the worst you can do in in ground to ground combat, ground combat, is a full result. You know, zero plus four, the worst you can do is zero. Roll zero. It's plus four it's automatic. It's a full result, and that should kill everyone here. That should kill this. That should kill this. And that will definitely kill this. Okay, so it'll kill all the units occupied. We should be able to take the Philippines and. Indonesia and Singapore all in one shot, or Dutch and Indonesia, excuse me, all in one shot, all right? Um, I've decided that what I want to do with Rangoon is I'm going to hold off a little bit on it uh, and probably say, uh, uh, maybe play for Rangoon, maybe play a three card for it, um, maybe play this card, which I would have rather have played for the event, but, you know, um, I'll play that for the event, I'm uh, sorry, for the points. Um, one of the things that we, uh, in, in this card is only, uh, ja only Japanese ground units can be activated, no air. So I'm just saying that if he does have a reaction card, he can uh, react with air units. I can't, re I can't bring any air support for it. So I'd rather use a uh, three card to attack Rangoon as my one only, um, uh, my one only, uh, um, card, my one and only, uh, battle hex. So I can bring in air and bring in these two armies. By the way, one thing that I should let you know about this early is that um, because there's a rule in um, this game that if you uh, activate any units in Ceylon here, Ceylon, Northern India, or Burma for the Japanese, and they don't control Rangoon or created the river, uh, they played the bridge over the river Kwai card which creates this transport route here, um, then we suffer a minus one efficiency of any HQ activating any units in Burma. This is also part of the reason I did not activate uh, this, these, I did not launch an attack into Rangoon because to launch an, 
back into Rangoon with only three activations because of this Colonel Tugi card earlier. Remember, it's three plus one, I have to take away one because it's, uh, it, it, wants, it, it um, suffers a kind of hypoderma. Then I only have three activations. I could have only launched one, one of these, as well as an attack here and an attack here. I would not have been able to attack Column back. So, you know, with the 1812 going in here, there's no guarantee that we're going to take this out. Plus, there's a possibility that he might react into this hex, which would not be good. If we use the Mahatma Gandhi card, uh, or a three card, it's a little bit better, I think, because then we can use both of these land units. We can use air units, we can use this air unit here, we can use this air unit here. Unfortunately, we can't get any naval units because of the stupid ISR, which is being a pain in the butt for us, but what are you going to do? That's the game. So hopefully over the next few turns, over the next few videos, I can, or maybe the next turn we get a fresh set of cards, we can get, finally get, a get out of ISR three card or I can put him into ISR. Um, I just hope to God that we can somehow play the events that um, we want to play for events like uh, this uh, this Mahatma Gandhi card to give us an extra strategy card and the um, this card here, the, uh, the our intelligence card. So he has to declare a battle hex for us to be able to use this card as an event and draw a strategy card. Or he has to be able to, to, to mobilize Siak in some way that we can use this Mahatma Gandhi card to draw a strategy from. But right now it's, it's um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And I'm hoping that we can do that because we are really behind the card count and I can really use more cards right now. But I suspect, I kind of suspect, I kind of maybe he knows that and I think he just, he's just playing a waiting game. He's very good at it. He just making us draw, play all our cards out and uh, so that he can, you know, he'd be ahead of the card count. So this guy is pretty good. He's a smart player, a lot of respect for my opponent. All right, so that's it for this event, uh, for this uh, video. I will see you when I see you and we'll see the battles in Manila and Palembang and Singapore and then we'll see his reaction or his card, his next card play because he cannot, can't pass anymore. He's not a I think uh, hopefully he's out of event cards. Uh, he, you know, we'll we'll see what happens, and then we'll we'll see uh, what what um, what we could do. All right. So thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next video.